people here use VCRs? Was that not easy? Okay. <laughs> How about fax machines? Pretty good. Voicemail. Are we digital or what? Okay. How many people in here feel that they're computer literate? It's pretty, this is a, hey, okay. Is there a computer on your desk? Is it a Mac? It's okay. Okay. How many people's VCRs are going 12? Okay. I can't do it. I think it's a documentation. I, I really, you know, okay. How many people have watched the Home Shopping Club for more than 10 minutes? Come on. Okay. How many people have ever bought anything from the Home Shopping Club? Okay. It's okay. This is, you're, you're, you know, only 10 million people are watching, don't worry. How many people buy regularly through catalogs? Okay. Do you use electronic mail in your office? You are not representative of America. This is, <laughs> we're going to get a real skewed result here, I think. Um, how many people have their corporate directory electronically available to them? Okay. How many people use CDs as a way of distributing information in their office? Very few. How many people have a CD-ROM drive on their computer? Mm, if you can access it, it counts. Okay. How many people have a subscription and use online services? Okay. So, we, I, I, that's interesting because I think we're going to get a feel for where the technology um, you know, is, and I, I, again, I'm not sure that we represent the group of people that we're going to be affecting with the marketing. I think we're far more computer literate than the population that we're going to try to bring our marketing programs to. Um, the consumer electronics, the handheld electronics, have more and more power. In fact, I probably think that the Newton that we came out with give people as much power um, as I used to have on my desk when I was programming, you know, in an IBM environment. So what we're looking at is here's technology available today. There's nothing futuristic about it that we could implement to start looking at how we can customize delivery of advertising and marketing to the individual. And I definitely think what we're looking at is a shift in the continuum. And, and we're gonna, I think we're going to get into this as we go on from looking at just the demographics to starting to look at the psychographics, to looking at how individual people purchase and responding to the need of the individual people, of the individual person.